Next up, let's talk about looping over objects or iterating over objects. We've seen how we can use a for loop with an array or a string, how we can use a for of loop with an array or a string. Those don't really work with objects, at least not easily. Here's a simple object. Uh, it contains movies as keys and then ratings or reviews are the values. And I made some of the keys explicit strings so I could add spaces, kill space bill. And remember, everything ends up as a string eventually in that object as a key. Okay, so I have my movie reviews. If I wanted to just loop over and print out each value, or maybe arrival dash 9.5 in Bruges dash 9, I couldn't really use a for loop. What, what would I generate? What numbers? There are no indices for this object. We can't do movie reviews of 1. I mean, we can. But there's just nothing there. So a for loop isn't going to work. What about a for of? If I did for let x of movie reviews, and we'll just console.log x, type error. Movie reviews is not iterable. So remember, a for of loop works with any iterable, which includes things like arrays and strings, but an object is not iterable. So what can we do instead? Well, we have a couple of options. The first is to use a for of loop and instead of looping over the entire object, which doesn't work, we can loop over just the keys or just the values. We haven't seen this yet because there's not much use for it aside from looping, but there's a method called object.keys and you pass in an object to it, whoops, movie reviews, and we get a list of the keys, as you can see here. And we also have object.values. Pay attention to the fact that it is capital O object, just like we saw with object.assign. So it's not movie reviews dot keys or dot values. Okay, so this is something that we can loop over. If we want just the values, we can loop over that. If we want just the keys, we can loop over that. And if we want both, we can use the keys to access the values. So let's do that first. I'll leave this version and just comment it out and add a note that it does not work. But if we do for let, let's not do x. If we're going to loop over the keys, let's go with movie or maybe just m. Movie of object dot keys movie reviews. And now if we console.log movie, refresh the page, we're printing out each key. We took movie reviews, which was not iterable, but we just grabbed the keys which is iterable, it's a list, so we can iterate over it, and we're just printing out each item, just as if we had an array of these strings. Same sort of idea, except they're coming from an object. And that works, uh, but if we wanna access the values, we would just add in a line here with movie reviews of movie. And we cannot do dot, remember, this is a variable, if we need to access part of an object and the key is a variable, we use square brackets. Let's see what we get now. Arrival 9.5, Alien 9, Amelie 8. Great, that works. We can also do the same thing with just the values. But remember, if you have a value for an object, there's not an easy way to get the corresponding key. So a lot of the times you want both. But if we wanted to do something like find the average review score, these are all pretty highly rated, I guess. We could instead iterate over the values and add them all together. So we have the same sort of method, object.values, pass in movie reviews, and let's make this its own variable. We'll call this scores, or ratings. I think ratings is better. And then we can iterate over that. For let rating, maybe just r of ratings. Remember, ratings is not the object, it is just the values. And if we wanted to sum them all together and then average them, I would make a variable called total equals zero, and then add each r into total, total plus equals r. And then at the very end, I need to divide by the length of ratings. So we'll have ratings.length, and we can divide total by that. We can either save that to total so we could do total slash equals, which, oops, wrong direction. I don't like to use this as much. I think it's just very uncommon compared to plus equals and minus equals, at least in my experience it is. But this will work. We're saying total is now equal to total divided by ratings.length. And we'll console.log 
total. Although I don't like that term, total, because it's not a total anymore, it's an average. And there we go, the average is 8.6875. So I would probably rewrite this to let average equal total divided by ratings.length and console.log average. All right, so that's one way we can iterate over an object where we're not actually iterating over the object at once. We're isolating the keys and using for of with the keys or isolating the values. We could also have done a for loop, a regular for loop, where we can use an index, but I still prefer using for of. But the point is, there's not an easy way to use a for loop to just automatically, without having to call object.values or object.keys, to iterate over an object. But this isn't bad. But in the next video, we'll see another type of loop called for in, which does exactly what we're doing here.